This is Gertrude. She's five and a half years old. She goes to nursery school. She's come to the clinic with a fever, a cough and general body swelling, which started two weeks ago. Gertrude's mother tested HIV negative during her pregnancy six years ago and she's not been tested since. So Gertrude was not given any preventative treatment when she was born. She was breastfed for her first two years. Indeed, since then, she's never had an HIV test. Gertrude's father became sick and died three months ago. The physical examination shows she has very severe swelling which starts at her feet and goes up to the face. The rash is making her skin peel in a few places and there are open sores where she's been scratching. The mother says there have been discharges from both ears for the last two months. The chest sounds very abnormal. There's clearly fluid on the lungs. There's no sign of sores or candidiasis in her mouth. Gertrude is given an HIV rapid test, which comes out as positive. Gertrude has all the clinical signs of advanced HIV disease, which has been diagnosed very late. To complicate matters, the quashia core malnutrition, caused by lack of protein, also affects the immune system, making her very vulnerable to opportunistic infections. To recover, she needs treatment for these. A careful watch needs to be made for signs of oral candida, as this often contributes to malnutrition. But in her present condition, the greatest threat comes from the open patches where she's lost skin. Finally, she needs a careful and well-implemented feeding plan with gradual increases in protein. Three days later, Gertrude is not getting better. Her ear infection has improved slightly as there's less fluid, but the edema is still very severe and the rash has got much worse. Large areas of her skin are now peeling off. It almost looks like severe burns. Gertrude is now being reviewed at the ART clinic. The decision needs to be made whether to start TB treatment before ARVs. This is her x-ray. She still has a cough. It's decided not to put her on TB treatment straight away, but to see if antibiotics work. In the meantime, her mother collects Gertrude's ARVs and then goes for a counselling session. Gertrude's mother has also been tested for HIV for the first time and is found to be HIV positive. She has two older children who are 9 and 11 years old. She says they're both healthy. Gertrude goes back to the ward for malnourished children where further blood tests are taken to check for anemia. She needs to be very carefully looked after over the coming days. With the rash getting worse, she's now at serious risk of infection. 